I am Dr. Adrian Velasquez, and I am a critical care physician from uh, Newport Hospital, Newport, Rhode Island. Today we'll be discussing the important points of our uh, study entitled The Effects of Protocol Isolation on the Clinical Outcomes of Mechanically Ventilated ICU Patients, a Systematic Review and Meta-Analysis of Randomized Controlled Trials. This will appear in the May 2015 issue of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. As an overview of our findings, I've, our study has shown that uh, protocol sedation, whether it is a sedation algorithm or daily sedation interruption, or both, is associated with reduction in overall mortality, ICU and hospital length of stay, tracheostomy compared to um, usual care without protocol sedation. In uh, simple terms, uh, standards, a standardized approach in sedation management is better than a non-standardized approach. There is a remarkable amount of evidence that protocol sedation improves ICU outcomes. There's no, there's no other way around it. We strongly recommend having a protocol sedation management in uh, intensive care units that are taking care of mechanically ventilated patients. In, in our study, we conducted a survey to see if there's a, an ubiquitous usage of protocol sedation, especially having the pain, agitation, delirium management guidelines being published by the American College of Critical Care Medicine on January 2013. Given the apparent benefits and scientific evidence, uh, we discovered substandard implementation rate even after 19 months after the publication of the guidelines. We are hoping that our people will be able to improve the implementation rate of uh, rates of uh, protocol sedation in intensive care units. We believe that uh, we could contribute with our article to the improvement of ICU practices. In the end, it is our patients who would benefit from this. Better ICU outcomes translate to better care. Our patients, including their families, trust us clinicians with their lives. Hence, we believe that it is our responsibility to be better in providing medical care. In closing, uh, with regards to the next steps in this line of research, we have found out that the effects of delirium has been very impactful among ICU patients. We propose that any future uh, studies should focus on um, quantifying delirium among ICU patients. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.